Okay, well, the sun is out now. It was raining, wasn't it, Mick? It was raining and now it stopped for now. Yes, so yes. We're going to have a little bit of a mudlark today. Yep. On a bottle dump and see yes. if we can find anything. Hopefully, we'll find a few nice little things. I'm trying to avoid the big things and just go straight for the little gems. It's we'll bring hard. you guys along with us, see yep. what we can find. So let's uh, see how we got on. Let's yeah. get going. Let's go. If I ask you. Like I say, I'm trying to avoid the bottles, but I did actually just pop onto this first little bit here and see this little one here. And yeah, as I suspected, it is an embossed one. It Joshua Gibson Manchester Furniture Polish. It is a beautiful bottle. I don't think I'll be taking it because I have got a few, but I'll show you anyway because it does have some nice embossing on it. There you go, it's a little gem, but it's a little gem that will be staying there. Right, we've got a whole load of stuff to look at here. Lots of new spoil. So we need to get our eagle eyes on and get really close down because like I say, I'm really trying hard. I can show you the bottles, but unless it's something I haven't got, I'm going to be leaving it here. And I know you all say, oh, don't leave it, I'll have it, I'll have it. Listen, it's not going to happen. I've got so much in my house and so much that I've sent to people and stuff. So I'm just going to concentrate on the gems. I'm going to show you the bottles and I'm only going to keep um, special bottles. Okay. Well, it's nice to show you a nice new hole to look into. I've not been here for a while, so, so it's a nice one. Right beside some football pitches here, so uh, might hear a bit of noise. As most dumps are, always right next to a football pitch. Just over here, it's like a pipe bowl. Yeah. Don't know if we're taking pipe bowls, but there's one there. Oh, right, I am just saw this little bit exciting. We could have a look down here and see what's on here. But Mick's just chucked me a pipe bowl. There you go. Pipe bowl. Oh, it's a bit gnarly. It's a little bit hacked around the edges, that one. But still, it's pipe bowl, and I do love pipe bowl. Fine, right? Okay, so let, hang on, let me just stick that pipe bowl and also a cork. <sighs> I didn't film picking it up because you know I found a gazillion corks, especially on this place. Actually, there's for some reason, sorry, I'm trying to open my bag, there's absolutely a gazillion load of corks on here, so I don't know why. Right, you're here with me now, so let's just have a look down here and see what there is. I could just see something there that's catching my eye. It's probably nothing, but it's catching my eye, so we'll have a look. No, no idea what that is. No idea. Right, okay, let's have a look down there. I'm going to try and not go under there, because that looks very dangerous. Um, some bottles there. Let's have a look. You can come up. There's a little tiny one there. That one might be worth a keep if it's full. And it is. Oh, look at that. That is... A lovely colour. Oh, he's got a little bit of a label on as well. Right, let's see if we can decipher any of that. One second. Hmm. No, <laughs> I think I don't think I can. Sometimes if you can just get one word. No. Something cream, is it? I don't know. I don't know. But that is a lovely little burst slip. Bottle. It's a lovely colour. I'll rub the other side where the label isn't. You can see lots of lovely little bottles. It's a small one, so yeah, I'm probably going to keep that one, that little gem there. Let me just pop it onto the side and hope I don't forget it. Okay, right. Let's carry on having a mooch down here. 
a little bottle. Oh, let's see, it's quite fresh. Is that something or nothing? Is that? Oh, it's something. It's a little marble. There you go, a little shiny white bit sticking out of the ground then. I'm so glad I went for it because it could be anything on here. Absolutely anything. But yeah, there you go. So that blue shiny bit. See if that's anything. No, a bit pottery. There you go. It was shiny and white before I got my hands on it. There you go. A white marble. Can't go wrong with one of those clay marbles, can you? That's always a lovely find. Right, sorry, let me just try and get it in my pocket of my bag. Right, let's see. Keep our eyes open for anything else. I'll just get that out. It's only a source, but, you know, Fletcher's will pop it up there so it doesn't get lost for somebody else. Right, let's keep these glasses on because I spotted that bottle, didn't I? There's another little bottle there. I might just get it anyway, not to keep, but... You know, I might just get it. Oh, that one there. Get that one. That is a little panel. Oh, it's a bit busted. I'll just check it, just to make sure it's got nothing on it. It hasn't. It's a little bit busted. Somebody might want it. Stick it up there. Right, oh, got excited about that little bottle. There's a jam pot down there, but it's busted. There's a couple of bottles down there, but I won't want to keep them anyway. But let's just have a look. Is that a bit of a... Doll said, oh, the back the base, sorry, of a doll's head, isn't it? The little the little neck bit, I should say, not the base. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a, a little bit of a pick. Right, I don't think I can see anything. There's a little bottle there, but I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to go underneath there. Still, that marble was a great little find. I'm just going to have a little scour on here and see if anything else turns up. I'll try not to touch it. Until um, until I bring you back, okay, so we can find it together. Just turned around to get up. And there, look at that, just nestling on the top. I've narrowly missed by my footprint, my ad. Hang on, let me turn around, let me get off me. I was sat down, sat down, now I'm filthy. Right, but look, that to me looks like a super find. And it's an gob, little gobby. Yeah, can't go wrong with those. A lovely little find. So yeah, a couple of little gems off here. Uh, not much else. I haven't had a scrape. I'll do the scraping later if I, if I feel I need to. But yeah, there you go. Little alligob. Add it to my collection of little gems. I think I'm just going to... Oh, we just managed to scramble out of that hole. I'm going to have a look up here on this bit of spoil before I go in any more holes. And you know what? Mick can come in the same spot and vice versa and come on and find something that I haven't seen. It's funny how your eyes just get accustomed to looking for certain things. Right, so have a quick scan on here. Put my glasses on just in case. Is that bit of a plate but nothing fancy. Right, I don't think there's anything on here is there? Stone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, they've thrown, they've chucked it out. They have chucked that out and not seen it. It's still got a cork in. Let me have a look. Let's see if we can get, get that, dig that out. Probably full. No stab, not stick strong enough. Oh, that is a beauty. That, that we've just been lobbed out with all that soil. That is a little beauty. A lovely little salt glaze ink, I think. Ink pot or dye or, well, I don't know, something like that. Something like that. I'm just going to have a quick look down there, see what else we've thrown out. Nothing by the look of it. But that, so the, oh, I'm so glad I came up here now. So glad I came up here and got that little salt glazed pot thing. Oh, I love those. I love those as well. That's a super little find. I don't think it's got any sort of, has it? Sorry. It just seems it's got some sort of maker's mark on it. Oh no, it's not, it's just... Oh, has it? No, I think that's just a blemish. Some sort of blemish. That is a beauty. And that is a super, super find. A little bit of a... remains of a somebody. Um, but I don't think it's worth taking because there's not much of it left. I'm sure Sarah will pop along and see that in a short while. A very very old um, willow that is very old one it's uh, even the pattern looks old old willow and there's this thing here beside it I don't know what that would have been 
Oh, right, Mick's called me over, so I shall come back to that bit in a minute. I've only done the first little bit of a hole. So, oh, sorry, I'm a bit close. You don't need to see that much of me. Right, oh, let's, let's make my way over to Mick and let's see. I can see something down there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we'll let Sarah find it. There's something on the ground down there. If you're in a chat, see if you can shout out before she spots it. She's just on her way over here now. It's probably one of these things I've got to try and find. <laughs> and you know I'm not very good at finding things under pressure. Right, OK, Mick, have you got something for us? This has been touched, yeah. Yeah. Down here. Oh, I think I can see it from here, Mick. I think I can see it from here. That looks like a little leg. Little leg. Oh, oh, with a shoe on it and everything. Oh, Mick, that is a super find. That is great. A little doll's leg with a little glazed shoe. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, see, see what he's like. He's good, isn't he? Finding that. Okay, I can see it on here. Mick just touched it and it just turned it slightly and. So, oh no, better film that because that looks like a little bit of a doll's face there. Oh, has it got bottom teeth? Oh, broken bottom teeth. Oh. Oh no, it's a no. I thought it was a chin. Oh. <laughs> I thought a chin was a bit odd. It's actually a nose, a upper lip, a cheek, and some broken teeth. Oh. But that is still a usable um, little gem that I can use. Because I've got lots of oh look at that I've got lots and lots of dolls pieces right what does that say oh Scott's emulsion the label on there says Scott's emulsion it's the face. so sorry the face sorry Mick there you go Scott's emulsion it probably says it on does it says it on the other side we've seen plenty of those bottles but now that's what the label would have looked like on a Scott's emulsion not going to take it but I am going to take that little portion of the face right I'm just having a close look and there can you see it just sticking out I've not touched it I've merely looked at it. Another white marble. I've just sent to Mick. I think this is the only plate. Is it a marble? Is it a baking bean? I really don't know. It's quite small. So I'm thinking, you know what? I don't know. I'm going to call it a marble because it sounds nicer. <laughs> but it's a white clay. But this is the only place we've found the white ones, I'm sure. Yeah. And well, I found two today, so there you go. Right, another little clay marble. Right, well, they're like buses, I think, today, because Mick's just spotted this one over here. Oops. There, another one. Another one. Another little beauty. Oh, what a shame about that. Look at that. Oh, that's a shame, because look at that on the other side. But there you go. Another little marble that's going in my bag with all my other little gems that are mounting up. There's a few bottles that have been thrown out there that look broken but yeah I'm just going to scour oh there's another one is that another one that can't be another one no it's not a seed I <laughs> got a bit overexcited then it was a seed right okay thought that was a bit, a bit a bit too good to be true right let's keep scouring this um spoil pile looks quite busy so if I don't have much luck on the surface elsewhere I think I'll come back to this spoil for a scrape now we always say I'll come back for a scrape but if we find enough on the surface, you don't need to. We can save it for another day. But this spa this spoil, though, it's not busy on the top. Well, it's busy on the top. It's busy on the top, but, you know, with bits and pieces, broken, there's broken um, um, ginger beers, um, cod bottles, things like that. So, it, you know, there is stuff going on in, from, in this spoil, but I, I suspect it's in the spoil because I can't really see anything on the top. So... I, I reckon if I don't find anything much elsewhere, I can come back here and I can have a little bit of a scrape. I'm going to get really muddy because, <laughs> oh, it started raining. I like to give you the weather report as we're out, but it has started raining a little bit now, so getting a little bit damp, let's say. Um, yeah, I'm just going to finish it. I did see uh, a teapot lid, and you know I keep them to go in my jam pots, but... I have got quite a lot so unless it's perfect now or more or less per well unless the top bit is perfect doesn't, doesn't matter so much about the bottom bit unless a, the top bit is perfect i'm going to leave them i'm going to uh, try really hard and leave them right i'm just gonna have a quick look surface look i can't see anything 
Oh, what's that? Yeah, what's that? Oh, a little top of a little something or other in the handle. Right, so there's not much on the surface. I suspect if I needed to, I could have a bit of a scrape in there and find something super. Right, let's have a tell you what, just have a while you're here. While you are here, we can just have a walk. Even if no one's dug, um, you see all the bits and pieces here. Even if no one's dug, because it has been raining. Oh, broken one of them. Because it has been raining, um, the rain does wash, you know, a bit of the soil off, revealing them marbles and things like that. So even if there's been no digging, sometimes you can still find something. Right. Shall I bring you with me? Oh, let me just, I might as well just go to this bar hole over here. Let me see. Is it, I don't think there's been any digging here. Right. Yeah, there's nothing here. Nothing here for us, I don't think. Right, I'm going to go back now and go back to my original first hole. Oh, just seen this cup here. And it's, it's like a little stencil sort of, Is it spongeware? Or, I'm not sure. But it says, I think it says for a girl because I'm sure I found a boy one before. Oh, what a shame that that's not full. But yeah, I think that says for a girl. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I've seen one that says for a boy. I think they're like christening cups, something like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, somebody's scrubbing brush. Just think someone has been scrubbing away, maybe on a rug or the front doorstep or something like that many, many years ago. But I'm not going to take that. I have had things like that before. I've kept them. <laughs> I'm not using them for anything, so... Yeah, we'll leave that one there. I don't need that. But yeah, a little cup. It's a shame it's broken. Probably would have been... Oh, is that a bit, bit of it? No, something else. Probably would have been for a christening, something like that. For a girl, I suspect that said. Oh, it's not super fine, but look at that. It would have been a super fine had it been full. Look at that. Lovely green. Lovely green, like lattice, lattice work on it. What do you reckon? Poison, do you think? Poison bottle still? That is beautiful and what a shame. There's virtually nothing left of it. But yeah, a lovely green, that would have been a lovely green bottle. See something green there, I don't know what it is. Still don't know what it is. Oh. Mm. Mm. Would it have been a hat? I don't think that would have been a hat pin, would it? No, the hole's too big underneath. Maybe it was a button. Maybe it was a button. I don't know. Flat. It looks... Mm, I was going to say it looks like bone, but I'm not... I'm not 100% sure on that. But it is a something. It's a little green something. You might know what it is. I'm gonna, not going to say hat pin because one, of the shape of it, and two, that hole is too big. But it could have had, like, a little metal circle shank on the back, I suppose. But, yeah, it's still a super little find. And certainly small enough for me to keep, that's for sure. So yeah, that is going to go in my little bum bag full of treasures. Okay, little little bottle there. That looks like one of those furniture polish ones. A small one though. Don't usually see them that small. Is it? Right, let's... Right, it has got writing on it, but can we read it? It's harder because it's got the white stuff inside it. Hmm... I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's, there we go. It's furniture polish. Let's, sorry, let me just refresh my memory. Mm. I can't. I can't. Can't read it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a furniture polish bottle. I'm not going to take it, but it's a nice bottle. They do clean up well, and they, you can use them, but not for me. Oh, that's got a little bit of a, a label on it. Hmm. Don't know. But yeah, that is a nice bottle. It is embossed. It does have embossing around some of the flat panels, but I, I can't remember what it was. But I'm pretty sure it was a furniture polish. Oh, oh, look at that bit of pipe stem that Mix found. Oh, it's got like bark, like wood grain on it. Oh, that. Find the bowl, Mick. Find the bowl to that. That'd have been a. That'd have been a great one. Oh, look, a little dolly peg. Oh, I'm gonna keep that. Look at that, little wooden dolly peg. Now that would have just gone with that little um, scouring brush thing, that wooden brush we found, wouldn't it? Found a little brush and that would have gone with that. But I love a dolly peg. And they actually dry out nicely. I have got a few from quite an early dump. But yeah, I like that little dolly peg. And um, you know what? I think I might even keep that little bit, bit of pipe there. 
it's got like the wood it's either wood grain or fur i can't quite tell what it's trying to be there you go two little gems hmm I've seen a few of these but i'm presuming they're like out of a, a carbon rod out of a big battery that's i'm pretty sure that that's what that is it's not like the little thin ones that sometimes look like um slate pencils i think that is also i think that's a carbon battery rod so if you see one of those on a tip i think that's what it is certainly won't be taking it anyway so yeah i'm just gonna have a quick look quick scour on here in another hole i did a, put my head under there a little bit see if i could see anything i couldn't see anything worth risking life and limb for so just have a little bit of bend down here not to see the dog underneath there but filled it in a little bit but there's nothing can't say that i can see anything under here can you just have a look and see if we can spot any little gems Oh, uh, uh, no. I thought it was a fin bulb, but it's a bit small. Can't let me put my glasses on, sorry. Oh, you know what? I think it is. I think it is. How can that be? No, I don't think kids had thimbles, did they? Right, yeah, you know what? I think that that is actually. I mean, look, I'm, that's why I didn't think it was a thimble. Look at the size of it compared to my fingers. I know my fingers are in gloves, but even all the will in the world I can't get my little finger into that one that is strange isn't it the tiniest little thimble in the world right there you go keep it still for you tiny little thimble I was just thinking I'll just search around the edge and also go back the way that I came because sometimes even though you walk you walk one way and you see nothing you walk back the other way and you see something but that is a super little gem Hmm, you know what? Searching for gems, it does take a lot longer. I'm going to say it takes twice as long for us to do a lark when I'm ignoring the bigger stuff as much as I can. Sorry, but something's come on me. All right, sorry, I was just looking at my thing. Um, I've only got 9% on my battery, so I need to change it. But yeah, it takes twice as long <laughs> to do um, a tiny gem hunt than it does to do a full, like, just bottle digging search thing. Sorry, just seen. Oh, it's a bit of pipe. Right, okay, I'm going to put that in my bag. It's a little gem, a super little find. I'm going to say a child's thimble. Don't know. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Ooh, what's that? Right, I'm gone. Ooh, oh, is that, oh, did you drop that out of my bag? Or is it another green? Oh, no, it's another green thing. Oh, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. Let me just check my bag. I'm pretty sure that that green thing is in there. I'm gone. Right, let me put that thimble in, right? That is a different one, look. Hasn't got a hole in it, I don't think. Right, that's a different one. Oh, well, there you go, what it is then? Oh, there's a couple of them. I'm just gonna check my bag now to make sure I've not just picked up something that's fell out of my bag. But yeah, another one of those green things, let me check my bag. You'd be pleased to know I'm not going crazy. I have found two of those green things. Oh, well, there you go. Thought they were the same, I bet you did too. But I thought, oh, you dozy devil, you dropped it out your bag. I certainly did, but there you go, two green things. Very interested to find out what they are. And they were found, oh gosh, I'm going to say 12 feet apart. 12 feet apart, definitely. There you go, two green things with those holes on the other side. Bottle stopper down there. Oh, it's broken. Yeah, it's broken, so don't think you take it. Newton Heath. Newton Heath is in Manchester, it's uh, where Bernard Mann has got his pub, I think, Newton Heath, I believe. I don't think he'll take it, it's broke. Yeah, I think I'll turn that over, because that looks a little bit daunting, doesn't it, look? Imagine coming down and falling on top of that, wouldn't be very nice, would it? So let's turn it over, and push it in the ground. Just to be on the safe side. It's rainy, it's sunny, it's sunny, it's raining. Rain, sun, sun, rain, that only means one thing. Hit that like button. Hit it good and hard. Just talking to slate pencil, I don't know if you saw that, I found a carbon battery rod. And I said, oh, your thin ones look like slate pencils. But here we go, here is a real slate pencil. Has it got the point? No, it hasn't, doesn't matter. That is still a super find, a lovely slate pencil. And I've got mine all organized now in a little pot on my shelf. 
well most of them anyway um, so I can just pop that in there and I'll, I'll know where they are if I find a little writing slate I want to pair it to so yeah here you go little gem a little um, slate pencil I think that's just a bit of a pipe stem that's fancy but just in case I thought I'd bring you on with me is it yeah I think, oh, I think that's just a bit of a fancy bit of pipe stem so we find a couple of bits of fancy bits of pipe stem but no fancy bowl hmm what a shame could have been off the same one a little like hairy furry or bark I'm not sure there you go pipe stem don't need that right I can see something behind that figurine there I remember seeing that figurine before but that looks dull like so let's move that out of the way seen that before but that looks like a little bit of a doll's face. Oh, there we go, we've got an eye. We're okay, we've got, as long as we get a feature, we're okay. We've got a little eye. Is there an eye behind it? Probably not, but let's... Oops, sorry, let me just stick my glasses on. Let's do it carefully, just in case. Yeah, no, I've never found an eye. Never, ever, ever found an eye. Is it? Oh, there it is. We've been in the wrong place anyway. <laughs> never found an eye. Never found a doll with an eye in either, so let alone a separate eye. But there you go, another. Sorry, let me turn it around that way. Another doll's face part. There you go, super duper little find. Yet yeah, another. Oops, close look on the floor. Oh, look at that, another one, another little one. They must be for them to be so many and to be so small. These must be the ones that are baking beans. They must. It would have to be surely. They're tiny. You wouldn't. I'm sure you wouldn't play marbles with something quite so small. Oh, I'm going to it. Just see that. Is that something or nothing? Oh, I think that's a button. I think it's a button. Yep, I'm going to say it's a button. Scratch is glass. It must be. It's quite scratched. But that is looks like a little sweetie. That looks like a little sweetie. That button. Oh, that's lovely. A lovely little glass button. There you go. Oh, I've lost my marble thing now. Oh, where's my marble gone? Oh, no. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, God, don't get sidetracked. Don't, because you lose your marbles. I lose my marbles anyway. What else did I see here? I just saw that thing there. What do they call it? A thingy drop. A... Oh, I'm tempted to... Just let me put those little gems in my bag before I lose them again. I'm pretty sure they must be baking beans because I found so many today. Imagine the other ones were white, weren't they? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. A lovely glass button with the ridges around it. A little bit scratch. I can see lots of scratches on it. Um, doesn't matter. You know, it's still a nice button. I'm going to presume that the shank goes further underneath there. It's just caked full of mud. Super fine. No, let me get them safe in here. Right. Oh, wrong, wrong thing to unzip unzip my money bit let me put my money bit back on one second sorry i've never forgotten what i'm looking at now what was it oh yeah this thing here where did you a drop of glass like that look at that look at that i might be wrong but it's called something like a prince i want to say prince albert drop or something like that you might know i might be talking rubbish and i might have totally misremembered what it's supposed to be but i think so you can see all the bubbles in it I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can. Let's put it that way. Full of bubbles, and I'm sure it's called something like a Prince Albert drop. I'm not. I'm not sure. You'll tell me. I know you'll tell me. Right. You know what? I think I'm just going to have a little bit of a, a scratch on the surface here, and see if we can see anything else. Because those um, what's that? Nothing. Those little marble things. Those little baking beans, possibly. We're just um, beginning to stand out a little bit where the rain has washed the surface off. There you go, whatever that is. Oh yeah, comment down below if you know, by the way. <laughs> oh yes, an odd find, I know, but I like that because I'm going to make wooden sign for my allotment. That will be a sign for something that I grow. I'll just paint on it and then write, just paint on it um, quite rustically. But it is possibly could be sweet corn or something similar. Yeah, that old piece of wood probably off the bottom of a barrel is uh, going to be a keeper I'm afraid I'm going to make it into a sign oh I'll just flick this little thing out here I thought it was an actual bottleneck but it isn't a bottleneck at all 
it's a tiny little bottle oh my gosh i re very very nearly discarded that and i just gave it a bit of a flick it tumbled out and it's actually a little bottle i will keep that little bottles are allowed little gems sorry just, things just keep catching my eye on the surface and a lot of them turn out to be nothing but sometimes like that they turn out to be a little something super tiny little bottle i'll show you the size by my fingers there you go that that means you can judge um how big or how, how small it is oh let me tell you you get absolutely filthy sorry you get absolutely filthy searching for gems because you've got to get on your hands and knees so you end up either sat in mud knelt on mud honestly just get so you get your head really close to the ground to have a look at these little these little gems of finds but yeah um it's a lot harder it takes a lot longer um, so sometimes we can't always get a massive long video I'm feeling if we're just looking for gems but and I know some of you say oh pick, up, pick the bottles up pick the bottles up but I'll pick them up and show you but um, yeah I'm afraid I'm not going to keep them because I'm just running out of space I don't know where Mickey's oh there he is there he is he's scouring that hole over there probably finding some nice little gems he found that leg didn't he that was a super little find I don't think I've ever found one like that not that colour anyway I think I might have a brown one I might have to talk in a brown. There's an amber bottle there. Let's have a look at that. I don't want it, but just caught my eye. I've got enough amber bottles now for my amber potions. It's a nice one, but it's also a little bit too big because if it was to put them in a dome, that one would struggle to fit in it. Unless I've got a large dome. Oh, sorry. Just that bit of pottery caught my eye there. What's that? A little bit of red. A little bit of nothing. Right, okay, I've, I've done little, bit, little bits of scrapes, I've done lots of looks, mainly looking, and then I've just like brushed a little bit of the surface off, and just like that, well, I can't remember, but that little bottle was there, I think, that I thought was, um, and it just tumbled down, tumbled down there, but I'm glad I gave it a second look when it tumbled out, because um, it wasn't a bottleneck, was it? Right, okay, let's carry on this last um, little bit here. I don't know if that's a bead down there, but let's have a look. If I can get it out, oh, it's a bead. I can get it out there. Get it out. Don't want to lose it. There you go. A little bead. Better give it to Sarah so she can put it in a little bag, a little bead box. I see something bright red, but now I've bent down. I don't think it's a bead. It just caught my eye because it's bright red and it's not near any trees or anything. No, no, not sure what that is. Oh, it might be a broken bead. Yeah, a broken bead. No good to us. Full ones only, please. Oh, right. What have you got there, Mick? Oh, right, see if we can get it safely into my hand. Oh, that's a lovely colour. Yep. I know we found a few beads here, but they've been a bit brighter blue than that. That is a little gem. Yep, I shall safely put that into my bum bag. Right, there's a circle thing under that lump of cat, whatever. So let's have a look, see if it's a lid or or not. Oh, not, it's just a base of something. But we're down here now, so let's have a little bit of a look in case something is sticking out the side. And I can't see anything sticking out the side. Bits of pottery. There's been a few stripy shells I've seen. They've been um, a little bit misleading, let's say. Right, I can't see. It's like, like rusty, like a rusty layer, isn't it? Can you see it? Oh, it's just like, it's like rust. Like as if like a load of tins or something have been put there. Something's come out of that. I can see the, the mould of it there. Broken bottles. Hmm. Right, I'll have a little bit of scar on here. Probably don't need to bring you with me as I do it. But what's that under there? Nothing, it's just a, a neck of a bottle. Right, okay. You can see they just have bits of stuff sticking out. That's the spoil that's come out of this hole here. It's been chucked out there. What's that circle thing there? Sorry, since you're here. Nothing, a bit of a nothing. Broken teapot, okay. What's that? Is that something you're here now? Oh, a little tiny oxo. What's that? Pipe? I thought I saw a pipe bowl then. I think I saw a pipe stem. And it sort of made my brain think of pipe bowl. Right, okay, that's a, I don't want it. A little oxo one, but we'll save it from the hole, stick it on the side so that somebody else can get it. Right, I'll just have a little look round here 
I might have seen a pipe bell, don't know. Oh, was that it? Was that what I saw? Sorry, you're here now. You might as well stay on. Sometimes you see something and you turn away that quickly, and you think, oh no, that was a something or other. Just in case. No, it's not. Whatever it is, it's a, a crumbly thing. It wasn't a pipe bowl, but you never know. I was just scraping here, just looking at what's crumbling down. So I scrape here, I watch it fall down, I watch it hit there. I've took it out because otherwise I'd never see it again. And look, another one, another. And they must be baked. I'm absolutely convinced that they're baking beans now because what's that, number five, number four? In one day? All in different spots, but it, it, it has to be. Oh no, oh no, is that bead? No, it's not bead. It has to be. That just and it's very difficult to see them in this as well, because look at that, because they're all well they're not round, but you know what I mean? They're all it's all sort of that sort of shape. But yeah, it just tumbled down there and I grabbed it quick so that I could show you. But yeah, another one, another one of those. Four or five. We'll have a look at the end and see how many we've got. Mix just Mix just found this and oh that just like looks like a piece of glass. That is an unusual shape. I wonder what that was off. Look at that, because it's meant to be flat at the bottom. Okay, flat at the bottom. So let me just wedge it in there for you. Flat across the bottom. Oops. But then curved like that, sort of a, goes out, curved, but beveled and really quite thick. What, what do you reckon, a picture frame? Or a, it won't be a clock, would it? Because why would a clock be that sort, sort of shape? Unless maybe it was a clock with it. No. It's very thick, it's very thick. We shouldn't... Why would you need a picture frame that thick? A picture glass that thick though, that's the thing. But it's beveled. So, you know, it's, it's definitely had a purpose to it. But that is lovely. Mm, I'm definitely going to take that one. I, I do like it. Sorry, just something caught my eye there. Little pot. Right, broken. But yeah, I am going to keep that piece of glass that Mick's found. <laughs> I'm going to say it's off a picture, flat bottomed. But beveled all the way round. Right, we just stood chatting to someone, just stood there like you do, and a place that, that we walked past, I don't know, about four or five times today. And I'm just chatting, we're just chatting to this fella, this digger, and uh, I just glanced over here. And I don't know how we didn't see it before because it's absolutely massive. <laughs> it's probably the chunkiest glass stopper I've ever found. One, one of the chunkiest, but look at that, a really chunky. And that was a good. I don't know, 15, 20 feet away, just chatting. And I had walked across here before. But there you go, look at that, a massive, chunky stopper. And then we were stood talking over in this spot because I moved over to it so that I could remember where it was so that I could film it. And then as we were stood here, we saw over here, I think, somewhere over here, now I've lost here, over here, <sighs> over here, another dolly peg oh, just, just half a dolly peg but there you go it will go nicely with the other one you can still make something with it so a dolly peg and there was another stopper there a vulcanite stopper I won't take that one actually because the end is off it H there you go two little gems oh look at this little cod down here oh just broke enough for that marble to come out of it and it's only a little one as well what a shame yeah I don't I don't collect broken cods anymore but uh, that marble could be somewhere though, couldn't it? There could be a marble on here. <laughs> Good luck finding it. But yeah, a little R white bottle there. There's another big cod. Oh, what's that writing on that big cod? Hang on, let me let me check the writing on this big cod because it looks something unusual. What does that say? This bottle is the sole property of T W Lawson. Manchester. Oh, there's some sort of writing at the bottom that's a bit harder to read. Oh, look at that with the moon and a star on it. What's that? T W Lawson Limited. Mm. Whatever that says. Page. Don't know. Manchester. Mm. Unusual, but unfortunately, totally, totally busted. But we do love a cod. There's still a lovely design and a lovely bottle, but just not for us. Oh, well, there you go. A good old faithful find there. I'm pretty sure you can see that. It's a little button. There you go. Oh, right, I think. Oh, let's move that out of the way. Big, big bottle. Cod thing. 
busted what's it but look here this is what I was after a full vulcanite stopper not something that we find very many many of on here but let's see should we do that torturous thing hang on sorry and something what's that we'll have a look at that in a minute whatever that is I'm not sure um, torturous thing of trying to read it sorry give us one second Just let me try and rub that off oh what's that oh P Dowd P Dowd Bezik there you go well can I stop her but this thing this looks like the top of a walking stick or something doesn't it what's that right let me pop that stopper in let me just I'm actually going to pop you down one second you can just pop you down there because I need two hands for this this is wood it looks like it's got some sort of pinch going on there what design on it and that would have gone in some for something so I'm thinking oh I don't know sort of hmm I don't walking stick or do you think it would have no, it's the wrong sort of pinch to be hold, holding it that way so not 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 a um, umbrella it looks more like why would you why would it need to go into something if it was a walking stick surely it would just be a walking stick hmm don't know what you think on this Mick here a piece of sorry a piece of wood here it looks like it goes into something at the end uh, oh do you think oh tool handle yeah. just look by the way it doesn't look like you would hold it that way you know what I mean yeah, a chisel handle. A right? chisel handle. Oh, right, I never thought of that. Something like that, maybe. Because something you hold like that, way, yeah. that, that, that to me is a comfortable hold on the end of that. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I like that. I like that bit of shaped wood. So I'm going to keep it. What's that? A little peg. Some. What's that with a little ball on it? Maybe it was a coat hook or something? Not quite sure what that was. A little bit strange, whatever that was. But yeah, you know what, I think Mick's right. I think it's probably off some sort of tool thing. And the metal bit would have gone in there. That makes more sense than it. Walking stick. Honestly, I don't know what I don't know what I'm thinking of sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it takes a man's brain to figure out what or something is, and that we think is some sort of handle from an old tool. Right, okay. Round the other side of here because Mick has just walked past and spotted something. It's pointed so we can roughly see it together. We'll come round at the side of here. This is like a very fresh. Did I not walk? I don't think I walked. But look, can you see it? Usually, when he points, I can't really find it for ages. But there you go, shining like a beacon, a clay pipe. Let's have a look. Has it got anything on it? Although we found the stems here with something on it, we haven't found any pipe bowls with something on it. It's just got that. That say Dublin. There you go, it's a Dublin pipe. Never tired of finding pipe bowls. Little gem. I think we've got another piece of slate pencil there. Oops, sorry. Yeah, there we go. And that one is the point, I think, as well. So that's good. It's always nice to find the, the pointy bit. Another slate pencil, a lovely little gem of a five. I've just been having a scrape on here. See what, because this is really fresh, this. This is a really fresh bit of spoil. I'm not quite sure which hole it's come from, actually. I don't know, it, it feels like they've barrowed it in. <laughs> it feels like they've got a wheelbarrow and stuck it there because there's no hole next to it, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so we've got a, um, a slate pencil. There you go, another little super find. Oh, that looks like one of them bird feeders, is it? Oh, it is. Oh, what a sh sorry, it's what pans. What a shame. Oh, I've never found a full one. Look, that would have gone on the bars at the back of the cage. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beauty, isn't it? It's like a, it's quite a weak milk glass, isn't it? Because it's got some bits that are actually pale, you know what I mean? Not full, not fully milky. But yeah, that was a little bird feeder, little Victorian type bird feeder there. Uh, I just saw a few little things here, so I thought I'd have a look. The jug, let's just empty it out, just in case. So oh, it's got its handle. <laughs> it's got its handle, but not... Not everything else that it requires. This handle was in it. Modern, modern day rubbish, it can't be helped, I'm sorry. Let's just get rid of that. What's that? Oh, that was a little pot of some sort. Yeah, but there you go, a little, that was a little 
bird cage, bird feeder, what a pity. My little scrape has unveiled a bottleneck, but although we don't want a broken bottleneck, what we do want is the stopper in it. There you go, machine turn stopper in that one. Let's see if we can get it out. Sometimes we can, sorry. Sometimes we can. There we go. There you go. Machine, machine turned stopper. It looks quite a stubby one actually. It doesn't look very long, but it's not broken off. So there you go. Right, I think it's time for a little bit of a roundup here. So uh, let's see what we've got. Yeah, okay, let's have a look. Got quite a few gems, I think. Right, so first of all, the dolly pegs. You know, what's not to love about those? They'll dry out nicely and I'll, I'll use them for something craft related. Okay, we've got the Vulcanite Stopper. That's the P Dowd one. The big chunky um, glass stopper. It's plain, but it's chunky and it's nice. Now these two green things that I found, I don't know, about 15 feet apart. Let me just take my glove off, sorry. So I don't know what they are. The little half thing is with a little dint in the back. They're both the same, both found in two different spots. That tiny little bottle that I thought was a bottleneck. Uh, this, which Mick hasn't seen, I don't think, it was a super tiny thimble. Yeah, it's like a thimble but it's yeah. but it won't fit on my finger. One, yeah. It must one, yeah. be, it must be. I didn't know they did one for children. Yeah, probably, probably. Um, the pipe some that I've kept that looks like bark or fur or something and two pipe bowls. Then that little ink pot there, a beautiful little find, and I think that was thrown out by the diggers, so that's a, a good find. Marbles, I said we've got a few. The first one I got was quite a big one, I think, but all these little ones here, I think, they must be baking beans, they must be. And then a little alley gob there, a nice little unglazed one. Mix super find of a little leg with a green glazed foot. Now that is lovely, I haven't got anything that colour at all. Two little slate pencils, always a nice find two parts of a doll's face they will always come in handy she's got broken teeth doesn't matter and this thing here which i sorry let me wrap up my hand i've always believed to be something like a prince albert drop or something like that it's a little glass drop and you're gonna to have to say in the comments below but i'm sure it was something like a prince albert drop i'm not, I'm not sure so yeah in the comments below and then this wooden um Handle thing here that was with make things off a tool. Tool, you'd be able yeah. to tool, maybe. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's Some it. Nice little finds there. Gems. Plenty of marbles there as well. Yeah, look, th that is a lovely selection. That is a lovely selection of things. I'm very pleased with it. Okay. But it just takes a long time to yeah. get the little gems. Let me tell yeah, you, we're out here a lot longer. A lot of luck, and a lot of rain, and a lot of sunshine. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Right, I think we're going to call it a day there. It's been a very hard, hard digging, well, digging, looking day looking, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's been raining and sun's out, raining. Uh, it's been a hard one, but uh, yeah. it's been fun. Uh, yes. There's some interesting little finds there. I hope you enjoyed it. Gems, absolutely. Let's so know what your favourite find was out of all that lot. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank all the members for supporting the channel. Yes, I want to so thank much. everybody that supports the channel. Yeah. Um, Whether it's a view or a comment. Everything. Very anything, much appreciated. Anything you do. Yeah. I want to thank everybody. <laughs> So we're going to call it a day. I want to thank you all for joining us. Don't forget we've got a live show tomorrow night at half past yes, Sunday, eight. half eight. Half eight. Join in the fun. Pop mm -hmm. along, say hello. So we're going to go. We'll catch you all again real soon now. Bye-bye.